Hi everyone, it's Naomi Kanaika from Encouragement from the Word of God. God is so faithful. It's a beautiful Thursday and I am so excited to share the Word of God with you. Today the Word of God is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16. It says, For who has known the mind of the Lord, so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. I am so excited that because we accepted Jesus into our hearts and we said that He's our Savior and our Lord, and because of that, our mind is renewed, that we have the mind of Christ. I don't know about you, but in our world, there is so many people who are in depression, who is in sadness, who is in loneliness, who are fighting the mind. I remember when my kids were born, now they're 14 years old, when they were born 14 years ago, at age two, I could see that their mind was not right. I could call them and they would not recognize their name. And um, they did. They used to do strange, strange things, like things unacceptable. And I remember nights after nights of them crying one by one and for, for no reason, kind of. I couldn't find a reason. And I knew that it was the evil one who is trying to get hold of their mind. I remember many days, many nights, many days crying to the Lord to set their mind free, so give them a sound mind. And I praise God that they are now 14 years old and they have the mind of Christ. They have the mind of Christ and God has done amazing things. Even though the enemy tried to steal their mind, God has taken control of their mind. So today we're going to learn how we can control, how we can give our mind to our Christ so Jesus can control our mind, that the enemy has no footstool on, the enemy has no control over the things that our mind will think, but that Christ would be in our mind, that we would have a mind of Christ. So as it says, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16, For who has known the mind of Christ? Can anyone know the mind of Christ? No one knows the mind of Christ. God's mind is amazing. He's the one who created heaven and earth. He is the one who created you and me. He knows everything. He has plans. He has such a great mind. And God is saying, and so as to instruct him, can we instruct our Lord? Can we tell him what to do? No, he's the creator. He's the one who created your mind and my mind. And the uh, Everything is in our body is connected to the mind. If a part of our body hurts, the mind is the one that is suffering. So it says, but we have the mind of Christ. You and I, we cannot instruct our God. We cannot instruct Jesus because he, has the, he is the one who created the mind. But you and I, we can have that mind of Christ. Whatever that you're going through, maybe during this holiday season, you might feel depressed, you might feel overwhelmed, you might feel sadness or loneliness, you might feel all these emotions. And every day in the morning when you get up, you might have different emotions. When sometimes you, the way that you go to sleep and then you get up in the morning, you have strange feelings. You might feel gloomy, you might feel sad, you might feel tired, you might feel all these things depressed. And you might wonder, why do I have to work every day? And all these things will come to your mind. And that is the enemy fighting against us. But we can have the mind of Christ. You and I can have the mind of Christ. So we're going to learn how we can have the mind of Christ. So the uh, first one we can do is, you and I, we can start the day right. So when you get up in the morning, Start the day with reading the Word of God. You can renew your mind by reading the Word of God. So when you take the Word of God, that is so treasure. That's such a precious gift from God. Take the Word of God and read it. When you read the Word of God, your mind is renewed. So if you are for your children, they're small. They cannot read the Word by themselves, might be. Maybe you can read it with them. We have started this new thing where every night we get together before they go to sleep, they usually pray. But now we are going to, we are discussing Christmas st stories and things that they can understand. So their mind is renewed by the word of God. 
So take the word of God, take the Bible, even though your children cannot understand the whole depth of the word of God. Start at young age to read the word of God and tell them about the names of the characters in the word of God so they remember because they have a sharp, good memory. They are really good with memory. So renew their mind with the word of God. Renew your mind with the word of God. Don't let you start the day without reading the word of God. Don't spend more time with other things but renew the word. Renew your mind with the word of God. Don't listen to the radio. Don't listen to the TV before you read the word of God. First read the word of God. Change your mind by renewing the mind and making your mind like Christ's mind. So read your Bible every day. We need to wash our mind every day. We are exposed to so many things. We might get our mind filled with the news, the news in the 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 news in the world. We might get our mind filled with the movies that we watch. We might get our mind filled with what we read. We might get our mind filled with people telling us different things. We might get our mind filled with hearing different songs and so many things. If you put the radio station, even the Christmas songs that you might hear, some of them has so much double meaning. Some of them, Satan has influenced people, musicians to sing over and over all these negative things and all that evil things. So all these are always blocking our mind. Always it is, it is making our mind corrupt. So every day in the morning, when you read of the read the word of God, what happens is your mind is going to be washed. It's going to be washed as you brush your teeth every day, as you wash your face every day, as, as you wash your body every day. You need to wash your mind every day. Read the word of God every day. Take a one word, memorize the word of God and meditate on the word of God. Remember, tell someone about the word of God. So what happens for me, what I learned is that whenever I share something with someone about the word of God, my memory remembers more. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm getting, I'm losing um, the memories of remembering things. So whenever I read something and I share it with you, share it with someone, what happens is my mind, I'm getting it memorized again and again. So it's really good to have the mind of Christ, to have the mind of Christ, read the word of God every day. Do not let a day pass by to read the word of God. While you're driving in the car, put the worship song, sing to the Lord, meditate on the word of God, listen to audio Bible, listen to, if you cannot have time to read the Bible, some people have eyesight, difficult eyesight, what have you can do is have the audio Bible playing, cleaning the house, have the audio Bible playing, working, have the audio Bible playing, you can do that and renew your mind. And the next thing is pray in tongues. I don't know about you. God has given this spiritual language for us to talk with Jesus every day, every moment. When you speak in tongues, when you speak with God in that heavenly language, you are renewing your mind. You are, the devil doesn't know what you're talking about with Christ and devil doesn't know what you're planning to do and you speak in tongues. Renew your language, heavenly language with Christ. So when you, when you speak in tongues, if you have not received that gift, ask for that gift love that gift want that gift when you desire that gift god will give you that gift to you holy spirit will give that gift to you it's a gift from the holy spirit so if you don't have it ask him jesus holy spirit i want to speak that that heavenly language the speaking in tongues so before you start praying start, start sing, saying speaking in tongues start start singing in tongues start reading the tongues say the word of god and and speak in tongues that has helped me many times sometimes I don't know what to pray about what to pray I just want to cry and I speak in tongues and God will reveal my my prayer my heart's desires to God will God will hear it from heaven and answer us so it will renew our mind and the next one is is to pray have that time of prayer every day every moment of your day have that communion with that relationship with Jesus. He will renew your mind. He will give you the mind of Christ. He will show you different things that you never saw before. He can renew your mind. So I hope this bless you today. And in Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 it says, Finally brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatever things are honest, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, 
whatever things are good report if there be any virtue and if there be any praise think of these things your mind you have you are able to think of good things when an evil thought comes to you when unforgiving thought comes to you when an angry thought comes to you renew your mind in Christ reading the word of God think of good things Think of the word of God. Think what he has done for you. How much he has forgiven you. So you must forgive someone else. And when the angry thought comes, say that I am a child of God. And this anger will be God in Jesus' name. Speak and confess and think of good things. The word of God tells us to think of good things. When someone gossips some about someone to you, try to block it and say something good about that person or we should give them another chance so that that gossip will stop from there so god will give us that courage that to speak up and also god will renew our mind so i know that as he renews my mind every day to think of things of god think of things that i can glorify him and praise him every day of my life so i hope that this blessed you today i hope this this will be in your mind and that every day you will wash your mind that every day you will speak the word of God and renew your mind and that you have a mind of Christ let's pray together father we cannot do it by ourselves it's not self-help Lord but it is Holy Spirit you are helping us so Lord every day direct our steps direct our thoughts that we would Lord read your word and renew our mind with your word sing to you worship songs and praise you honor you and have communication with you daily pray to you and lord and help us to speak in tongues help us to speak in this heavenly language if any one of us who is hearing who doesn't have that language the heavenly language of speaking in tongues i pray that they would have that desire and ask you and you will never forsake them but you will give it to them so lord we thank you that we don't have to do it by ourselves, but that you will help us, and that you are with us, and that you would renew our mind and give the Christ, the mind of Christ to us. So we love you. We give you glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope this blessed you. Just want to sing one worship song. It's called, Jesus, We Enthrone You. We enthrone Jesus. We give him the highest place place in our hearts in our lives in our mind when he is the king of our mind when he's the king of our heart nothing no enemy can come to us jesus we enthrone you we proclaim you are king you are king standing here in the midst of us we raise you up with our praise and as we worship fill the throne and as we worship fill the throne and as we worship fill the throne come lord jesus and take your place jesus we enthrone you we proclaim you are king, you are king, standing here in the midst of us. We raise you up with our praise, and as we worship, fill your throne. And as we worship, fill your throne. And as we worship, fill your throne. Come, Lord Jesus and take your place i hope you were blessed by this word i hope that you would have the mind of christ today and every day of our lives have a blessed day please share this video with your friends and your loved ones with everyone in your social media accounts and with everyone and be uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed before so you would be encouraged daily with the word of god our word of god is the powerful weapon that you and i have use it for god's glory and god's kingdom have a wonderful day god bless you bye